This is going to be a run through of the European Gourmet Market Tour, which is a set of Rement from 2004. I have the complete series, plus I also have the secret set. This is what one of the inserts looks like from this set. This is the first set, England, and I only have the inserts for two of these sets. So I really like how it includes some landmarks from England and some pictures inside of English culture, I guess, as well as a little photo of the set itself. And I don't know if perhaps these are facts about Britain, I'm not sure, but uh, that's really cute. I also like that the background is tartan that I'm guessing is with the theme for, uh, for England. This set also came with this little insert which says volume two and when you open it up it has a bunch of different sets probably from that year. Again, this was released in 2004. And so those must have been some of the other sets that were for sale that year. Set number one is England and it is a roast chicken meal. It has this silver plate with a little placemat napkin or something to go on it. It also comes with a really cute roast chicken with the little paper things on the bones and a cute little tie. It also comes with a little assortment of, these are hand painted, they're really beautifully detailed, veggies, some potato wedges, some lemon slices, and maybe some parsley or something. It also comes with a little platter cover so that you could cover the meal until it's ready to serve. So that you can cover the meal until it's ready to serve. It also comes with a bottle of, is this champagne? I can't remember. It says, Petite Champagne, yes. It's a nicely detailed bottle and a little champagne bucket or ice bucket and a little uh, piece of ice that the champagne can kind of poke through like that. Comes with a tiny little glass of champagne. It's an actual champagne flute. It's cute. And it comes with a carving fork and knife. Really beautiful details on this. It really looks like a wooden carving fork and knife. Set two is France, and the meal is called filet de beef roti. Filet de boeuf roti, probably. And this is the main dinner plate. This piece is stuck to the plate. It has this really pretty gold detail. It's really nice. It looks like a hotel or a restaurant dish. It's quite nice. And then it has this little indent that shows you where the veggies sit on the sauce. So this piece actually doesn't come off of the plate. The sauce and the beef are attached permanently, I think. Yeah. And then the sauce has this little indent that shows you where the where the veggies go. 
and they just sit right in the indent like this. They don't stay put when I'm holding it sideways, but they look quite nice when I'm holding it properly. This meal also comes with a little side dish with two little maybe croissants or some type of dinner rolls. It also comes with, this looks like a cute little dessert with fancy sauce. It doesn't come off the plate. Also comes with a cute little cup of coffee or tea and a matching saucer. And there's a tiny, tiny little teaspoon to go with this tea. It's adorable, really beautiful. This is a beautiful set. There is a full size fork, spoon, and knife to go with this meal. There are actually two sets in this series from France. This one is the third set. It's called South France and it is grilled sea bass. This is the main dish and like the other one, the sauce is stuck on the plate, but the little food pieces actually come off and you can tell where they go by the little indents in the sauce. Just like that. The second dish from this meal is this, it has like a the centerpiece is carved into what looks like a rose. It's very pretty placement and none of these items come off the plate. Really pretty. I love that all the dishes in this set match one another. It also comes with a little bowl of soup. The soup doesn't come out of the bowl, but the saucer and the bowl can separate. There's a little glass of white wine. And I think it's the same as the glass of red wine, but just white. A beautifully folded napkin. I wish every piece came with a napkin. I love these. Would love to have four of those. You could set a, like a place setting on the table. Uh, then we have these more of these silverware and these match perfectly with the other ones. So that is quite nice. The fourth set is Spain and it has this meal called paella. And believe it or not, every one of these little mussels comes out every single one of them and the lemon in the center also comes out so this is you can also remove the food from the pan then the food can go in the pan it's really beautifully detailed this is one of my favorite pieces of remand that i own i love this set I'm going to show you the lemon up close. And I'll show you the clams or mussels. I think they're mussels. There's also a little wooden spoon or spatula or whatever you would call this to stir your paella with. And a cute little jug of, I'm guessing this might be sangria with two little oranges in it and a little 
glass of sangria. The fifth set is called Switzerland and it has cheese fondue as the meal. This is a really adorable basket. It has this lace detailing around it, which is just really, really pretty. I love that. Love that extra detail. And this basket looks so real. Look at the detail in that. It's fabulous. And then this hunk of square of, uh, of bread cubes is really cute too. I like that you can see the crust on some of them. Then the meal is fondue. So we have a little fondue burner here. It's, it consists of this piece and then this little flame piece that sits inside. And then this little Topper. and mine was broken two of these were broken when I when I got it but I just glued it back together again then we have a really cute pot I love this it's yellow with a red inside it's really pretty reminds me of real stoneware then we have a blob of cheese that goes inside of the pot and we have this really cute fondue fork that's already stabbed a little bread cube and has been dipped in the sauce and you can put the string of dripping cheese right into the fondue pan and it looks just like that. It's so cute, I love it. Next we come to Italy and we have this plain plate. It's not, it doesn't have the gold edging on it that some of the other plates have. And it has this food that goes on top. It's also really nicely detailed. You can actually tell what it is. Those green things are asparagus. And this meal is called asparagus and bacon farfalli. I very well might be pronouncing that wrong. And then we have this really cute dessert from France, or no, from Italy. I'm guessing that this is tiramisu. It looks a lot like tiramisu and I love tiramisu. The topping has really nice attention to detail. It has the same texture that real tiramisu has and I like the pan. Older Rement is heavier. It's, it's much better quality than the newer stuff. And then there's a little plate of tiramisu and this interestingly does come off, which makes me wonder if some of the other ones come off as well and they might have these little plugs. So there's a little hole in the bottom of the piece of tiramisu and it just goes right in like that. I like how it's got the sprinkling of cocoa dust on the plate, just like you would get at a real restaurant. The cutlery that this set comes with is silver. It, there's a little silver with a white handle serving tool and a little fork and a tiny little spoon for your dessert. The next stop on the European Gourmet Tour is Germany and we start out with this wooden board. There are a variety of different sausages. This one is called Sausage Sampler and look at the detail. There's even the string around this piece and there's a beautiful slice and it looks delicious. There's also this loaf looking sausage. There are some little bits of lettuce that can be used as a little decorative piece. There's two of them. And they are really beautifully detailed as well. There 
are these whitish sausages, or gray I guess, with little dots on them. There are these sausages. These larger sausages. And then these little ones too. So many sausages, so little room on the tray. And this big mug of beer. I love this mug. And it has beer inside of it. The beer doesn't come out like sometimes it does. The next set is set number eight, and it is Northern Europe, and it's bread. And again, we have a nice little sampling of photos of Northern Europe, including the Northern Lights and Santa and some reindeer. Some more photos inside of the remand itself, as well as photos of Northern Europe. And maybe these are facts about Northern Europe. And the remand is this really nice basket and it's very realistic as well. I love these older sets. This might be the oldest set that I have. So when I took this out of its package it was really squished so when I put the bread in it I put it so that this widest bread was holding it separate like holding it open because it wanted to squish in like that. So this is what the basket looks like and these baskets do have some flexibility to them so they do get squished in their boxes unfortunately. So realistic. I love them. Here are the bread pieces. We have this bread with little seeds on top of it. We have this, it looks a lot like a pretzel. It has a bow on it. We have this, it looks like, uh, I don't know, little crackers. Maybe dried bread. We have this cute little Danish with what looks like custard inside and icing on the top. And then we have this round bread as well. Next we come to Russia. And Russia has mushroom stew en croute or en croute. This is how the stew looks. It's in this really pretty dish with the brownish burgundy edging on it. Nicely detailed food. Really, really love that. And we get this plate, like a charger plate, upon which to put our bowl. There we go. We have another little side plate. And on the side plate, we have this, which is a bun that's on top of a little bit of soup. And look at the detail of that. Oops, I guess it comes out. I didn't know it came out. So the bowl is just a plain black bowl, but it's the kind of bowl that you can put in the oven and cook your soup right in it and plop your dough on top and then the bread and the soup are together. I really love that and I love how the crust of the bread goes down over the bowl just like it would in real life. It's so nice. Love the detail. 
And then we have a bottle of vodka. It says Petite Russia, Petite Vodka. Russia number one vodka. The bottle is quite recognizable. You can tell right off the bat that it is vodka. Looks a lot like Smirnoff. And then we have a cute little glass of vodka. With a little bit in the bottom or none in it at all. Maybe it's, yeah, no, it looks like it's empty. It is an empty glass in the picture as well, so I'm not missing anything. <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, and then we have this golden spoon. It's a really nice big soup spoon. Next we come to Turkey and look at this beautiful blue and white serving pl platter. It's so nice. It's a little dusty, but it's so nice. Love it. And for Turkey we have a shish kebab and it is of course on a sword as opposed to on a stick. So fancy. I love this dish. And then we have a whole bunch of vegetables together and a little rice pilaf as well. And the vegetables are all in one piece. We get some more of that detailed lettuce, the rice, you can see the individual grains of rice in there. And this looks like cabbage, some hot peppers, some tomatoes. Really, really nice. Then we have this little clear saucer with the gold edging on it and a little cup of what I'm guessing is Turkish, Turkish coffee. It's not as dark as Turkish coffee usually is. And it's not as tiny. Turkish coffee usually comes in a little tiny cup, so maybe it isn't. This is more of a regular scale cup for the meal. But we do have a teensy weensy little spoon, a little golden spoon. I also have the secret set for this series and it is a fondue set and oftentimes the secret set is a different version of something else in the set so we already have the cheese fondue over here from Switzerland and I don't know what country the secret set is from but it is chocolate fondue so maybe it's from Switzerland as well so it has the exact same fondue set as the Switzerland set. So this bottom, it's the same color and everything. It has its little burner lifter thingy. Um, it wasn't broken this time. It has a pot, but the pot is a different color this time. It's exactly the same pot as you can see. Uh, it just is red with a cream inside. Whoops. And then we have the chocolate to go inside of the pot. And we have our little fondue fork holding a little strawberry with some chocolate drizzling from it. And the little chocolate fits in this little hole. It doesn't hold itself in quite as as nicely as the cheese one does but it does hold there we go and then we have a little white plate instead of a basket of bread we have a little white plate with some fruit to go on and so this is the fruit it's really beautifully detailed I love all the kiwi slices with even the little uh, seeds on the kiwi slices really nicely detailed Bananas, you can see the little banana coloration of the centers of the bananas. And then these are either strawberries or raspberries. They look the size of strawberries. And some little orange slices and a little slice of cantaloupe. Also really beautifully detailed. Love this. I love the chocolate fondue. It might be my very favorite set. So this has been the European Gourmet Tour, a set from 2004. I hope you enjoyed having a look at these cute little sets of really beautifully detailed. This is what I love about Remand. I love the detail and these older sets are to die for. They're just perfect. Thanks so much for watching.
Actually, I don't know how I lost this, but <laughs> these little pieces are so easy to lose. This is an extra little bun from the Northern Europe uh, bread set. No wonder the buns didn't go back in my basket quite as full as it was before. So that's the set. That's the complete set, including the secret set. Thanks so much for watching and have a great week.